I hate to break it to you. You think you're my biggest fan? <laughs> That's my biggest fan today. It's all going outside. Hope you're doing well today. So, all right, this is the second in the series of investigating this here well. I've been out here doing a little work this morning, um, kind of stage one of the process. I pulled this water tank out of the way. Um, looks like it was just kind of used for pressurizing the system, I guess. Uh, there's a couple of black pipes I've seen elsewhere on the property. Um, another one coming out of it. So, you know, used to have power, obviously, for a well uh, pump. But anyway, we can kind of take a little bit bigger peek over here now. Um, what I am thinking has been happening is when I pulled these pipes out of here, there's water in them. And where I've seen these up on another part of the property is kind of in a drainage ditch. So I'm wondering if just every time it rains, water's running down here. Because I've seen the water level in this thing up almost to that other drain over there. So what I've done so far, as far as prep and investigation, one of the interesting things I think I've discovered is I'm pretty sure this well is at least 70 years old. And I say that because I'll put up on the screen that I've done um, some research and looked at historical aerial images and right about where I'm standing on this property in the 1955 aerial image is a nice little square that was about um, the same orientation as those 10 roof pieces. So um, like I say, I'm pretty sure this well house and well has been here since at least 1955. Um, I'm kind of shocked that it's in as good a shape as it's in. I was expecting to see kind of crumbling sides and everything. Um, but, you know, other than trash floating in it, it's in pretty good shape. So uh, part of the process I've been reading on, I've got a couple of gallons of bleach over there. What I'm going to do today is dump those in there. Um, I've stuck a pretty long stick in there. That thing's every bit at least 10 foot deep. Um, and I'm thinking it's probably 12 to 15 typically on some of these. So I'm going to bleach bomb it. Then I've got a utility pump and won't come back and uh, throw the pump down in there and pump it empty see how deep it is and see if there's anything hiding in it all right day two phase two so what i've got now is uh still some kind of nasty looking water but i went and got a little fish in it and fished out what i thought was styrofoam but <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's uh leftovers from whatever was dead floating in there earlier this year but uh, i've got me a little utility pump and you can hear it over in the distance probably I got a gas generator today and what i'm going to do is pump this thing down to the bottom got a garden hose running uphill so wherever it disperses by the time it gets down to the creek and whatnot hopefully it'll just soak in and not even make it there i don't want this crap polluting the plant pond nothing that's more than just icky water but we'll get this thing drained down see what it looks like down low and i've got some spray foam to fill in the little side holes so hopefully no more water will intrude in this thing so we will fast forward to this thing empty all right so for me it's been about an hour uh, a little bit more i wasn't accounting for using a uh garden hose because this pump's supposed to move about 2400 gallons an hour but as you can see we've hit bottom the best judgment i've got here is each one of these rings is three foot so there's three six nine twelve about 15 foot to the bottom kind of muddy bottom no uh bodies skeletons uh unfortunately i was hoping to find a treasure chest or something from down there but oh well <laughs> all right i think we're going to call it a day today i'm going to clean up the site here more importantly i'm going to throw a little uh cover over the top of this thing and uh, check it in about a week and see how fast does it fill back up? How far does it fill back up on its own? There are springs around here. I can kind of spin back around here and see there's one just kind of running down the hill just as happy as it could be. So we'll uh, check in on this again. I'm going to uh, go over and visit the neighbor. He's going to send me a John boat. And next time you see me, I'm probably going to be floating. So until next time, go outside. <laughs>